Okay, as I was saying, this is a joint work with Francis Back and Laura Massouliette in RIA and ENS, and uh, Sebastian Bebek and Nita Lee from uh, Microsoft Research. Um, the idea of this work is to uh, analyze functions which can be written as the sum of uh, a function, uh, several functions, each of them lying on a uh, particular computing unit. So this is especially useful for uh, uh, empirical risk minimization that we want to solve in a distributed way. So distributed storage and at the same time parallelized uh, computation. And you can think of, uh, for example, uh, logistic regression or uh, stochastic or, or, or SVM or this kind of optimization uh, problem in machine learning. So more specifically, we try to minimize a sum, an average of functions, and each, each of these functions uh, lie on one of the computing units. We will make uh, two different assum assumptions in this uh, work. The first one is that the average function that we try to optimize is uh, Lipschitz. And the second one is that all of the functions are Lipschitz uh, and, and convex. So the second assumption is much stronger. Uh, and we will see that we can say a lot more in this second setting. Now, the, uh, <clears throat> the, the, the way the computation is distributed is through a network of com communications. So uh, each node can, at the same time, compute uh, gradients of its own function and communicate a gradient uh, to his neighbors. Uh, computation of a gradient takes a, uh, an amount of time, uh, one unit of time. And communication through the uh, edges of the network takes a time tau. So we are interested in minimax convergence rate, so uh, optimal in the sense that it's the best possible uh, algorithm against the worst possible function, uh, convex and, and Lipschitz. And uh, there is a long-standing theory about uh, these minimax convergence rate in uh, optimization, well, single machine uh, convex optimization. Uh, there is a, a large uh, panel of, of results about this. For example, uh, there is a strongly convex and uh, smooth setting and the uh, Lipschitz and convex setting. Uh, for example, str strongly convex and smooth, you can think about uh, logistic, uh, regularized logistic regression and uh, SVM for the Lipschitz and convex. So one of our previous work uh, of last year's ICML was to extend the smooth and strongly convex setting to uh, distri distributed a distributed setting, sorry. Um, okay. Uh, and, and the idea is that in, in this case, uh, you just multiply the single machine optimization uh, term by uh, one plus delta tau, where delta is the diameter of the communication network, and tau is the uh, time it takes to uh, communicate from uh, one node to his neighbor. So delta times tau just is simply the time it takes to communicate from one node to the most distant node of the network. And you can see that uh, in the two settings that we considered uh, in the, the previous paper, centralized and decentralized, the idea is basically the same, except that in the decentralized setting, we replace the diameter of the network by uh, a notion of mixing time of random walks in the graph. So um, uh, of course, if you want more details, uh, we can speak about it uh, later in the poster. So the question is what happens in the uh, Lipschitz and, and convex setting, in the non-smooth setting. And the, uh, <clears throat> the, the, what happens is that it's not so uh, simple. It's not such a simple setting. More interestingly, we find that uh, actually the communication uh, through the network uh, is going to have an impact only on the second order term, uh, which means that the uh, blue term that you can see uh, is the term which is uh, uh, related to the uh, computation of the, gr of the gradients, and the green term is related to the communication. The green term only depends on 1 over epsilon, whereas the communication term in blue depends on 1 over epsilon square. Uh, so this is a lower bound that we prove on the uh, number of iterations required to reach a precision epsilon. But we also show that uh, there is an algorithm which is very close to this. Unfortunately, it's not exactly the right convergence rate, and there is still a, a difference between the two. So the idea is, a, is a, an, an extension of a previously uh, known uh, algorithm, uh, which is randomized smoothing uh, by Ducci and his co-authors uh, in 2012. 
And the idea is simply to smooth the uh, objective function in order to have faster convergence rate. Uh, the idea is that you can perform this smoothing in a distributed way, and so you can trade off communication time for computation time in this way. Uh, what you can see here is that the convergence rate is going to uh, have the right uh, dependency with respect to computation time in blue, but there is an additive term in, uh, multiplicative term, sorry, in d to the power one fourth uh, in the uh, communication time where D is the size of the uh, objective um, uh, optimization problem. Okay, so uh, in practice what happens, the idea is that we take a graph, we're first going to prune uh, most of its edges in order to have a tree and to have efficient communication, and we're going to uh, synchronize all the nodes by having the same random seed, and this is important in order to have the same uh, random generator for all, these, uh, for all the computing units. Then the master node will send uh, the current parameter, time t, and each node, each local no node is going to uh, first sample random uh, um, points around theta t, compute the gradient, and average this gradient. So it's a very uh, simple uh, procedure, but if you choose the right amount of points, you end up with uh, uh, an algorithm which is close to optimal. So then it just sends back these averages, and the master node will make the, this average of all these values, and in order to get an approximation of the gradient of the smooth function. Uh, I think the strongest uh, point, the most important point of this uh, work is that uh, this depends on the global Lipschitz constant, which means, and, and this can be much uh, smaller than the uh, local Lipschitz constant of all the, the local functions, because uh, the global function is an average, so we tend to smooth the function. Uh, but unfortunately, it, it requires to know the whole communication uh, network, and it, it's going to be, um, it, it's not very robust to communication failures. Uh, also, something to note is that uh, the, the multiplicative factor, which is um, d to the power one fourth, uh, in practice it's not so uh, uh, bad, let's say, even for uh, relatively large uh, problems, optimization problems. So even for d equals to 1,000, we have d to the power one fourth, which is around six. So it's, it's a relatively small multiplicative factor. And uh, in theory, we have some reasons to expect uh, that this may be a actually the optimal convergence rate. But this is future work. Okay, so uh, now quickly for the uh, second setting that we analyze, which is a decentralized uh, uh, communication scheme. The idea is that instead of having a master that, uh, that is going to synchronize the communication, we now have a uh, decentralized communication based on the gossip algorithm. So each node is going to uh, broadcast a value and aggregate uh, other, his neighbor's uh, broadcast by a simple averaging scheme, weighted average. Now if we do this, what we can show is that in this setting, uh, we do have an optimal convergence rate, so matching lower and uh, upper bounds. This is the lower uh, bound, and you can see that here, basically it's the same as the, uh, the uh, global regularization setting, where we replace the global Lipschitz constant by the local Lipschitz constant, and the uh, diameter of the network by this kind of mixing time, so, sort of mixing time, delta uh, tilde, uh, which is actually in, in a lot of uh, network, this happens to be very closely related to the uh, diameter of the network. Okay, and the idea is that we use, uh, it, it's uh, an algorithm that we call multi-step primal dual, and this is uh, similar to a recent paper of Lan and his co-authors in 2017. It's based on three important uh, aspects. The first one is a primal dual uh, reformulation of the problem. Uh, the second one is that we solve this uh, saddle point optimization problem using Chambol-Poc. And the third one is that we are going to have an extra uh, acceleration of the communication using uh, accelerated gossip uh, and Chebyshev polynomials. Uh, there is a lot of uh, details that I uh, do not have time to go into, but I will be happy to uh, speak about this uh, with you during the, the, the poster session. Okay, so in conclusion, uh, what we show in this paper is uh, an optimal convergence rate uh, in one setting and closely related lower and upper, uh, upper bounds in the uh, decentralized uh, convergence, the centralized setting. 
Um, I think that the main uh, uh, message of all this is that uh, we, in the non-smooth setting, uh, early stages of the uh, convergence are fast and they rely on an efficient communication. So here at the, on the first stages of the convergence, the network, the communication network plays a real role. Um, whereas for the later stages of convergence, you need uh, the, the, the convergence will be slower and will not depend on the communication network. Uh, okay, so thank you very much. Uh, I'll be in the poster uh, number 10 if you have more questions about this.